I think I glued my fingers way more times than I'd like to admit. What's up guys? This is Jackie, your nerdy crafter, and for this week's tutorial, I want to show you how to make your very own miniature phone cases. The mold method used in this video is from Trigger Charm Shop, so I will leave a link for that in the description box below. I absolutely love these little designs. I think my favorite definitely has to be the taco. Which one is yours? This week's video is a collaboration with three other very crafty gals. Kimspire DIY, Pipe Cleaner Crafts, and DIY Life Fox. Check out their videos and their channel and subscribe while you're there. If you're as crafty as I am, and I mean that in the artistic way, check them out. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Equally, if you like this project, don't forget to leave a like and share. All the dweebs are doing it. The list of everything we're going to need will be in the description box below, as well as the clay I'm using is, of course, always from Sculpey. The first thing we're going to do is flatten a piece of black, cut out the shape of the picture, and then we're going to make the end not pointy. We don't want to stab ourselves with a phone. That, that would be weird. Of course, you can make any color you want, and go ahead and add details. I didn't want these phones to have any details, but it's entirely up to you, because my focus were those cute, darn phone cases. Bake them for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Once baked, you're going to make a mold by taking a piece of scrap clay and pushing in your phone until you have the shape of the back. Remove the excess clay from the top. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty satisfying. It's so satisfying to just remove the excess clay. Hey, hey, move. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but it was pretty, pretty satisfying removing it. Now gently remove your little phone from there. Try as much as possible not to distort the shape. So far, so good. Now we're going to bake it for 15 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Once baked, we're going to take our mold putty, and of course, more satisfying shots. Mandatory, yes, yes. Mix them up until they're nice and smushy, so smush it real good. Yeah, you watch that smushiness, look at that. We're just getting some pretty smexy, schmexy shots of smushiness in there. Put it inside the mold, and then you're going to make sure that the top is as flat as possible. And let it cure according to package instructions. It kind of looks like a smushed toad from Mario. Remove it and voila! Let's start with the pop tort! So we're going to take our tan colored clay and put it on top of the mold until we have that shape. So make sure you get it in there and then cut off the excess. Make a cookie texture with a toothbrush. I've always found it so relaxing making that cookie texture, so have fun with it. Cut out the little camera area. And optionally, if you want to give it some shading, use some chalk pastels. You don't have to if you don't have any. To make the frosting, we're going to use some liquid Sculpey. Wee! I love, I love putting that on there. Put some pieces of white clay and smush it again until you have a creamy texture. Put a drop of white acrylic paint and mix it some more. Under normal circumstances, this would be looking pretty gross, but this is frosting, so it's delicious. Now spread that stuff, and then we're going to add sprinkles. If you want a tutorial on how to make sprinkles, I will leave a link for that in the description box below. And now, let's make it rain. Once it's done, you're going to bake it for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And to remove it, just push your blade right underneath and it should pop right out. Get it? Pop. Pop tart. Okay, never mind. I'll show myself out now. For the chocolate strawberry, start with a white base of clay. And we're going to make frosting in exactly the same way that we did the white one, except with pink clay and pink acrylic paint. Oh yeah. 
still satisfying. All right, enough of that. Okay, so now what you're going to do is just place the cream all the way around. Of course, you can design it however way you want. I just love the drizzle. For the chocolate, make the outline for where the case would go, and then you're going to make indents and cut around those indents. Now we're gonna cut off a bite. By the way, anyone who eats chocolate by biting into it like this, I think is an absolute monster. And place it on the case. Once you're happy, bake it for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Take it out in the same way we did last time. Time to tackle on the next project. All right, I think you guys heard enough terrible puns today. We're going to make the taco phone case. And let's see if I can cut a full, almost perfect circle. Do I got this? Yes, I got this. This is amazing. I didn't think that would ever be possible, but yeah, we don't even need a full circle actually. <laughs> All right, so before we go on, let's make our cute little taco and put on the face with acrylic paint. Once we have the face, we're going to make the toppings and put them directly on the phone case. Of course, do the outline of your taco first. You put some lettuce. Termurter. Churs. And of course, meat or tofu, depending on your preference. This is not how you pronounce things, guys. This is not where you learn English. It's so cute! I absolutely love the face on this little taco. Bake it, and now remove it as we did before. For the unicorn case, we're starting with a white base, and then we're going to make cute little ears. Place them on top and blend them in. I'm making the horn with Sculpey's Glitter White Gold. Now we're going to bake this for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm using a fluffy cloth for the mane. Now go ahead and paint on the details for the face. This unicorn design is an inspiration of Fimo Kawaii's bigger unicorn phone case. I'll leave a link for that in the description box below. Here's today's wisdom. Do not over squeeze a bottle of super glue because you'll get it all over your fingers. Instead, I decided to go with white glue because my fingers were a little too sticky. Let the glue fully settle and then remove it from the case. Now for the final part, we're going to put the phone screens on some sticky tape, cut them out, and then glue them onto our phones. Again, you want to make your phones more detailed, go ahead, there are so many great tutorials that I will link to in the description box below of how to make a phone that is more than just a stick-on. Here they are, the full set of absolute cuteness. all done i want to be very transparent with you guys youtube has been very weird and so i really want to extend a huge thank you to audible for sponsoring this video now i can actually go pick up some more crafty stuff if you guys are not sure what audible is it's either an app or from a website that you can download an audiobook and listen to it on the go i absolutely love reading but since i drive to work now i'd have less time than i used to when i was taking public transit being told a story on the go yes please the book I'm currently listening to is called A Wise Man's Fear. If you guys really love fantasy fiction and you thought Harry Potter was great, I highly recommend Patrick Rothfuss' Name of the Wind. Title sounds corny, but think of it as Harry Potter, but much darker. That book is definitely one of my top three books ever. And A Wise Man's Fear is the second book from the trilogy. If you guys want to try Audible for free for 30 days, which is pretty cool that it's linked to your Amazon account, check out the link audible.com nerdy crafter whatever book you choose you get to keep it even if you cancel your subscription so it's kind of neat because sometimes 40 hours of an audiobook can seem long but even if you don't finish it on time you get to keep it i really love being transparent with you guys and i know that you do understand how youtube is just weird so to get crafty materials we work with awesome companies 
Of course, if I didn't believe in a company, you wouldn't be hearing from it on my channel. That's just how I roll. If you guys have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Until then, I will see you guys next week.